Hi everyone, I'm Ralph and I like music and blinking lights. In my last video I built and played a DIY synth by German publisher Francis and in the process offered my unsolicited opinion that it was kind of a disappointment because it sounded awful, while you can get quite sophisticated sounds out of a simple Arduino. Uh, what remains is for me to back up my claims with evidence. So here is an Arduino, that's a portmanteau word of audio and Arduino. Uh, it is a software synthesizer, very much like the Francis kit, but instead of being a square wave squealer, it's based on a method called granular synthesis that allows creating quite sophisticated soundscapes that remind of uh, filter sweeps. So here's the synth. Even though it doesn't quite look like it, it really is an Arduino. It's a standalone circuit that allows you to run Arduino code without an actual Arduino board. It's got just the very basic components. Microcontroller, crystal and ISP connector. Some header pins and an optocoupler for accepting commands via MIDI. Let's first hear it. Now this is a four-voice polyphonic adaptation of the Arduino synth that runs on MIDI, hence uh, the optocopper circuit. So I have to play it using a MIDI keyboard. I think I can rest my case. Using a little brainware you can get very cool sounds out of a simple microcontroller circuit. If you search the intertubes you can find dozens of really astounding and at times cheeky software synthesizers running on Arduino hardware. And as for beginners kits like the one I showed you in my last video, if you take an Arduino 
leave out polyphony and perhaps add a second potentiometer for changing the character of the sound, you could make a really nice synth kit for beginners that isn't an embarrassment like the Francis kit, to be honest. Now, as for the board. As I said, this is a standalone Arduino board that I made myself because I wanted to keep the circuit and not permanently occupy a proper Arduino board. If you're in a situation where you want to keep a circuit, there's a video over at Notes and Volts that shows you how you can build a standalone Arduino. The link's down in the description. However, frankly, I wouldn't bother. Indeed, you can get these tiny Arduino nano boards for, I don't know, $2.50 or so on eBay or Banggood that contain everything. Microcontroller, a USB port, connection points, everything as a simple drop-in device for your project. They are the new jelly beans, so to speak, and you should always have plenty at hand. Now, if you're ready to spend a little more for a teensy board, I have an upcoming project that'll blow your mind, especially if you're into software synths. So be sure to check back soon. In the meantime, thanks for watching and don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Tschüss zusammen.